really appreciate your support and interest in our family farmers and of course always appreciate the support of our assembly agriculture committee chaired by assemblyman bill mcgee and a lot of the members of his assembly agricultural conference and our ranking minority member assemblyman ken blankenbush as well as members of uh, his conference as well so thank you so much for your support and for being here today it's no secret that New York State is in a very expensive place to, be, to do business, and that's certainly true for our family farms as well. For farmers, however, the costs are really increasing at an exorbitant rate, where we've seen agricultural land values increase by 10% a year. And I draw your attention to a few charts we have on the left and on the right as well, uh, which do illustrate graphically the statistics and the problems that our members have been seeing with uh, financial costs and taxes. In large part, our members' taxation values are increasing because of our agricultural assessment formula. This is a program that was started back in the 1970s and 1971, in fact, and it was designed to recognize the fact that farmers, by nature of their op occupation, have to have a lot of land base in order to grow food for all of us to consume. And so this assessment formula started in 1971, and the purpose again was to preserve agricultural land and farmland, which at that time had been being assessed based on its developable value and not its usage as farmers, as farmland. These charts that you'll see show that New York farmers pay an average of $7,649, or over 2,000 more of their income in uh, property tax values than they did in 2007. Again, that increase is fairly high and it's causing a lot of stress for our family farmers. This translates into an average property tax burden of $38.41 per acre. That's the second highest rate in the entire country that farmers pay for in average, on average for their assessed value. So when you look at where that number was again just five years ago at $26.41 per acre, we can see that the average farmland values has been escalating quite a bit for their real property taxes. In fact, 15% of a farmer's income in New York State goes directly to pay land taxes. Our nearest competitor to uh, the value of land-based taxes going as a percentage of income is California at 7% of their family farmer's income going to taxes. So today you're going to hear from a couple of our local farmers about what this issue means directly to their family farm. Our Vice President Eric Ooms, a dairy farmer from Columbia County, and also Larry Griffin, a sod farmer from Saratoga County. But first I wanted to turn it over to Assemblyman Bill McGee and wanted again to thank everyone who's behind me today for their vote in support of legislation uh, one, Assembly Bill 165, which Assemblyman Bill McGee carries and was just passed out of the Assembly Ag Committee this morning. Thank you, Julie. Uh, yes, welcome and we're glad you're here uh, to uh, talk about something that we feel is very important to our New York farmers. <clears throat> New York farmers have been struggling uh, because of the high cost of production, uh, the cost of feed and grain has gone up significantly. Of course, the cost of fuel has gone up as well. So there's more and more uh, being put on our farmers and a lot of our farmers uh, have to sell their product and they have no way of controlling the price that they receive. They have to, and I'm talking about dairy farmers in particular. And uh, so this issue is very important to them. What it does is it caps at 2% the increase in the assessed value of agricultural lands. And uh, we certainly hope that we're able to, to get it passed because again, it's extremely important to New York farmers and we need to do everything we can because uh, after all, uh, agriculture is the upstate economy and we need to uh, preserve and protect it as best we can. So we will continue to try to do that and uh, do the best we can, thank you. Thank you very much, Bill. I'd also like to introduce now our Vice President of New York Farm Bureau, Eric Ooms, who again is a dairy farmer along with his family in Columbia County. <clears throat> Thank you, Julie. I think our biggest concern is going forward. Um, property taxes are already a problem, but if we don't do something to arrest the ever-increasing um, rate of property taxes, it's going to be a problem down the road. I have. Um, nieces and nephews that are in their teens that are looking to come back. My kids are still uh, five and six, four and five years old. 
and I just want to be able to pass along a business that is sustainable. And um, I don't think this is unreasonable. And as we can tell, we've had some action from both houses of the legislature. And um, we're hopeful that we can get something done at the end of the session. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. And I also wanted to introduce uh, member Lori Griffin from Saratoga County Farm Bureau Board of Directors and also from Saratoga Sod Company in Saratoga County. Thank you. Good morning. And um, while I'm not a dairy farmer, I grew up as one, um, still have family in it, and but I speak for all farmers that use land. I'm a sod farmer. We also grow uh, corn and soybeans. And um, all farming is very land intensive. So anything we can do to help control our costs, and, and, and this being one of them, as Assembly McGee said, you know, going from a 10% cap to a 2%, at least it gives us a sense of, of, of where we can plan. Um, not only taxes on, on my operation run about 11 percent of my total gross and as if that keeps going up you know not only fuel but now we're, we're faced with another one of my large bills is labor and as we get a minimum wage increase and all these things are just parts of the puzzle but they are real real parts of our daily operation so I think this is a great step and we applaud um, some of McGee and uh, all these some women here for their support of this and um, we look forward to further support of uh, New York agriculture. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. And then in closing, we wanted to ask Assemblymember Blankenbush, who is a ranking member on the Assembly Agriculture Committee, to also say a few words. Thank you, Julie. Uh, representing the, uh, the North Country and the Mohawk Valley, uh, you know what my number one industry is, and that's, that's agriculture. And I think all you have to do is look at these charts on each side of us and you'll see what the problem is that our uh, farmers are facing every year and how important this bill is because again all you have to do is look at the figures and see what's going on uh, number uh, n the number one taxed uh, state in the United States we have to do something to help our uh, the cost of production I'm uh, happy to be the uh, uh, ranking member of this committee we have a bipartisan committee we have a bipartisan bill. We work together, and uh, hopefully we could get this bill through this year. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. And again, I just wanted to say that Senator Ritchie and the Senate Ag Committee have also taken up this legislation. The State Senate did pass it last week. Again, from New York Farm Bureau's perspective, this is our number one issue to get accomplished this session. Again, we really appreciate Assemblyman McGee, Assemblyman Blankenbush, and all the members of the Assembly Agriculture Committee who just voted positively to advance the legislation this year. Thank you very much.